was the 30th of October when a middle-aged fruit booter named Joe noticed something quite peculiar on his CCTV. Well, this wax, how cute. Joe was impressed and discarded the box like a piece of rubbish. But little did he know that inside of this box was every skateboarder's worst nightmare. A concoction of witchcraft and wax gum sourced from the underbelly of every grind pole ever coated in a slippery paraffin substance. Then it was cursed with a death wish by an elusive warlock called Mike. To be the slipperiest wax ever created. So fast that you pick up speed and go faster and faster until your little legs can't take it anymore. Oh, somebody wax is coping. It's getting faster. Faster! I can't bloody stop! My legs! They're gonna fall off! Grab a brick! Help! Help me! Oh, shit! I think I just pooed my pants! side of the skate park, Benjamin decided to skate a metal seesaw because he was flabbergasted by the scene that he just witnessed in the death bowl. Death wax was one step ahead of him and smeared a snail's trail of wax up the surface of the seesaw to inflict more horror to the fruit boot. Oh, oh. God, stop! I keep spinning faster and faster! I, I think I just shat myself! Ah! Ah! Unbeknown to Steve, both of his best mates had just met their fate. And Steve was determined to land his seesaw 180, no matter the cost. Steve was so stoked to land and packed up and headed for some spiced latte or whatever shit they drink on Halloween. The death wax slipped into his bag like a stalker sliding into your DMs. Stephen was never seen again. No wax was applied to the surface of Newport Skate Park in the making of this movie, and no waxes were harmed. Joe and Benjamin were killed, however. I believe that Steve is also dead. Two days later, he was launched to space doing an uprail and his head exploded. His razor shifts are now orbiting Earth and if you have a telescope, you can see them on a clear night in the Southern Hemisphere. Thank you to Elusive Brand for donating this amazing death wax.